Shadows of Silence Unsolved Cold Matters in Uganda Yep, we discussed quite a number of things here in The Shadow of Silence and Cold Solved Matters in Uganda Reed is taking a gripping journey into the realm of unsolved homicides that have cast a long shadow over the Ugandan landscape and uh, we could find what? Let's see what we could find here um, we find quite a number of people, unsolved matters, for example, General Aronda, Nyakairima, Jakana Naduri, Charles Ngola, Isma Oleksi, Ibrahim Abiriga, uh, Andrew Felix Kawesi, Brigadier Nobomayombo, Sheikh Bahiga, Joan Kagezi, General Katumba, uh, Ronald Madad, but at least you know, trying to find out exactly what, who did it, and exactly uh, whether there was redress given to that effect. Senta Mwabu, Richard Mwumuza, uh General Kazini. We know, but we need a little bit more details. Mohamed Chigundu, David Kato, many others, as you can see. So we go through all these and what ought to have been done in terms of this book shadows of silence and so cold matters in uganda yep there we go guys we got another one here this just came out also this is uh, the law of tourism in uganda um you may want to comprehend and find out a little bit of of it in terms of uh, contextualization regulatory compliance sustainable tourism uh, tourist attraction in uganda uh, aspects of uh, overview of Uganda tourism destination many 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 things as you can see another beautiful piece here the law of tourism in Uganda um, is an insightful and comprehensive guide to um, understanding the legal framework surrounding the tourism industry uh, we got another interesting one here called plastics uh, environmental Plastic pollution and environmental garbage, low governance for sustainable. Uh, and what is it about? It's basically about uh, in a world increasingly grappling with the uh, detrimental effects of plastic pollution, Uganda stands as a microcosm of both challenges and opportunities. So, through this thought provoking book, we delve deep into the heart of Uganda's battle against plastic pollution examining the robust environmental garbage uh, and paving a way for sustainable progress. So this is another super nice book that you may want to go through in terms of comprehending uh, some of the things that we're talking about. What is plastic pollution, the history, understanding environmental impacts and stuff like that. Beautiful book. You get another interesting one, especially that has to do with the uh, issues of the of the of our health, navigating the tipis of mental illness, associated illness within the protective laws of Uganda, um, guardians of the mind. And you look at this, you may want to comprehend and say that guardians of the mind, uh, navigating the tipis of mental illness, associated illnesses within the protective laws, is a thought provoking and informative book that delves into the intricate world of mental health and and legal framework through a compelling blend of personal stories, expert insight, and legal analysis. The book sheds light on uh, the challenges faced by individuals uh, living with mental illness in Uganda. So you may also want to look at this nice book again. Um, we talked about this guy here, Chronicles of Courage and Valor's Humble Shillet, the beacon of suffering in the war here by General Saleh. Um, General Saleh's Chronicles of Courage and, and uh, Bella's humble shield blazes forth as a scrutinizing literary configuration, illuminating the extraordinary odyssey of a titan whose essence embodies the very quiescence of fortitude, resilience, and selflessness. Uh, born Caleb Akendahano on January 4th, 1960, within the cruise ship of Uganda. Uh, he emerges as a, a veritable Carlos Amidis, the annals of military law, 
living and indelible imprint upon the very fabric of his nation's turbulent history. Wonderful book here. And you may want to look at it as well and find out exactly what we're talking about in this book. Wonderful book as well. We've got another one here that came out. Most of these are new. Navigating uh, Uganda's digital law in terms of... Uh, here we talk about uh, welcoming Uganda, navigating hospitality uh, in terms of a comprehensive and insightful you know, guide that has that delves into the intricate realms of hospitality law and, uh, in the vibrant, diverse community of Uganda. So you may want to look at this as well in terms of uh, what is involved and uh, what exactly we're looking out for in terms of, uh, of the issues here, right? So emphasizing, for example, the importance of legal awareness in the hospitality industry and stuff like that. So lots and lots of wonderful information. Setting the stage for the books, commercial And then uh, I know we have got legal person, artificial intelligence. Um, does AI have a uh, legal person here. Uh, this is another super nice book that we want to look at as well. Uh, in terms of understanding uh, things to do with the origin of the term robot, uh, legal personhood and artificial intelligence, uh, case studies in AI, copyright AI, automated education, viewing, uh, robotics, name them, uh, modular robot, collaborative robots, copyrights and stuff like that. So it's another super nice book here that you may want to also look at as well. Uh, obviously, this other one here, the current and emerging land laws, uh, urban smart cities and eco-friendly renewable energy is a case for Uganda. Incredible book right over here. And uh, here we find quite wonderful things in terms of, uh, for example, the general interaction of land matters, definition of meaning of land, Ownership tenor systems, land tenor doctrine, registration of titles, services defined, disability, condominiums, uh, mortgages, uh, and stuff like that. Emerging areas, we've got emerging areas here. Uh, we've got best land practices, modern forms. Um, we've got lots of wonderful things. And, and this is a smart land transactions, and this is new, new technology future eco-friendly run transactions, property listings and stuff like that. And everything here is new, as I told you. So you may want to look at this as well. A super, super nice book as well. This one we've talked about a little bit. We know a little bit about it. And here is another one that the art of uh, imagining conversation, exploring narrative and possibilities. Another super nice book in terms of comprehending um, you know, within the hollowed pages of art or imagining conversations, exploring possibilities through hypothetical interviews. Another super nice book. So we've got these books here. Are a great little device that we find them at global.org or Uh Fresh and hot and burning.